Hello my beautiful ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today I have collected top 6 of the best fragrance designer brands in my opinion and also picked out my favorite fragrances or my favorite fragrance I should say because I only picked one from each of these brands. I'm gonna present to you which fragrances I picked. So let's begin. So the first fragrance brand is a very popular fragrance brand that I guess you all have at least one fragrance from. And why I've picked this fragrance brand is because it's very well known, it has some great quality fragrances and it is a staple in every man's collection. YSL is the brand and I pick Lom, the classic Lom, because it's super versatile, it's super sensual, this fragrance. It works very well in different types of scenarios. You can have this as a signature scent, you can wear this on a date if you're not really sure what to wear. Or if you are new to fragrances and you just walk in a department store and you see all these fragrances, oh, these all walls with fragrances, where do you start? Like if you're new to fragrances, I think this is a great starting fragrance because it's super easy on the nose. It's extremely easy to like. Girls like this because it's very sensual, this fragrance, even though it has a very masculine take to this scent. It is still very smooth. It's a very smooth created fragrance. It's not harsh, it's not, it's not like sharp in the edges at all. So that's why I picked this one from the brand of YSL. The next designer house that I think is worth mentioning is of course Chanel. And you can't mention designer brands without mentioning Chanel of course. I think there's probably one of the be better fragrance brands uh, out there that creates designer and of course I will pick Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Why, why do I pick Eau de Parfum and not Eau de Toilette and not Parfum? I think that this is a very good middle ground if you just want one fragrance from the Bleu de Chanel line. In my opinion the Eau de Toilette is a little bit too citrusy for my liking right now uh, in this stage in my life and I want something that is little bit more mature, a little bit more sensual and a little bit more versatile. Then I would go with Eau de Parfum and I think this performance is really good still and um, even though the Eau de Toilette is not bad performing at all, I think this is even better and this is a no-go fragrance or it's a no-brainer fragrance I would say because even though if you don't really like fragrances you can easily blind buy this fragrance if you just want something that is great smelling 95% of all women in the world really love this fragrance and even though it's super used throughout all over the world it still works really good in 2022 and uh, yeah just buy this if you don't really know what to buy. Next up we have my favorite fragrance from Dior. Dior is uh, probably one of my probably my personal favorite designer house now. Dior has some great fragrances all from Dior Homme Intense, the original Dior Homme, to the new Dior Homme 2020 that I will pick as my favorite fragrance from Dior right now that I wear a lot. I wear this fragrance a lot. I started wearing this in the beginning of the summer, in mid-June I would say, wore this to, the, to a trip I had with the boys, we, we rented a house over midsummer I wore this in midsummer we have a good time you know we met some ladies who love this fragrance they smell it on me they just went crazy they took the bottle and just spray it so they really love it so that was like a check mark that even like younger girls it was in early 20s I think they really uh, love this fragrance so even though it's a very masculine type of fragrance even younger women really love this one so it's not old smelling it's just elegant and mature it smells like you have your stuff together you know what you want you know where you want to go you know what people you want to hang out with what people you want to surround yourself with this is a fragrance for the man that is sure of him himself know what he wants and strive for greatness every day that sounded like a commercial actually but <laughs> this is what i feel when i smell this fragrance one of my favorite fragrances from dior the next fragrance brand that i have to mention is one of my earlier fragrance brand brands that um, started my collection basically and this is Versace and what fragrance do you think I would pick from Versace? I picked the fragrance that is pretty masculine that girls really like 
and I really love this one. And I have to pick Dulan Blue. I feel that um, this might be Versace's take on Bleu de Chanel, a little bit. It's not a clone, they doesn't smell like at all uh, the same in my opinion. There are differences, this is more sweet in the base, while the Bleu de Chanel has a little bit more with, with a little bit more elegance and a little bit more uh, the incense that makes it a little bit more smokier at nighttime. This one you can also wear at nighttime, of course. It has a very attractive sweetness, even though it's a blue fragrance. As you see here, the bottle is blue, and this one is even better all around than Bleu de Chanel, I think. So this is a 200 milliliter big boy bottle and you can get this for around 50, 60 bucks on some discounters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to include the first fragrance brand that started my collection way back. This was the first brand that I bought a fragrance from and this is, of course, Jean-Paul Gaultier. And uh, nowadays, or back in the day, I would pick Le Mal, of course, because that's a classic and it's uh, still, still a good fragrance and I really like that scent, but I feel that something happened. I don't know, I'm not gonna go into the, you know, reformulation talk and stuff like that and if it's watered down or, or not, but in my opinion, Le Beau is the better fragrance from the brand that they have released in the past, I would say, past three, four years, I would say this is... Uh, the best one. I don't really know if this was released 2019 or 18, but maybe it was 18. I don't know. It is really good, actually. And you see here, big dent in the bottle. Used this a lot for like two, two, two and a half years ago when I was out clubbing before the pandemic hit Sweden and everything closed down. This was my daily, yeah, it was my to-go fragrance when I was out in the bar scene having cocktails. Very playful, coconut, tonka bean, bergamot on top. Very nice fragrance, very easy to like. Girls love this one. And it hasn't got that much hype in the fragrance community. And I think that's probably a good thing because uh, then a lot of people miss out this fragrance and then you will smell a little bit more unique in the streets when you walk but, uh, past someone that smell this fragrance. And the last fragrance brand that I really like, of course, is a very classic fragrance brand. And uh, it's Armani and I would pick 100% Aqua di Gio Profondo as my fragrance of choice from this fantastic designer brand. Because this one, as well as Dylan Blue and Bleu de Chanel, is super versatile. You can wear this to all different type of occasions and events. It smells very fresh, it smells very masculine without smelling like an old man, you know, and that's, that's a very good thing. Mineral notes, freshness, watery, fizzy, sparkling summer, sun is going down, you know, just took a shower, very nice fragrance, very, very good fragrance. This one is my last pick of the bunch here and um, yeah. I'm really happy I have these, these fragrances and they bring, brought me a lot of joy in the past two years or yeah, not, as, as long as I've had this channel actually and um, yeah, they're very fantastic. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Hope I gave you some recommendations to try some new fragrances if you haven't tried these fragrances, some new ones, some older ones and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.